in Clemson's Memorial Stadium, a.k.a. Death Valley, for what should be a fantastic college football game. This coin toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Clemson lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Down he goes, around the 44-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. Gets to about the 47-yard line. He is drilled at the 46. So they'll pick up a first down there on a seven-yard completion. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get in the ball? That was a great throw. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. Fires incomplete, knocked away. You know, the safety's responsibility, Brad, is to always make sure nothing is going to get behind him. You cannot ever get beat deep. But also, he has a responsibility to step up and make a play on the football in front of him. It's just another example of a defensive back, in this case a safety, just having really good instinct to be able to come up and know when to come up to knock that ball away. He unloads it. Tackle at the 21. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. Just throws this one away. Second and 10. Ball on the 21 yard line. And now he pitches it. The five. Touchdown, Northwestern. He is such a talented, skillful back, as you saw right there. What makes him even better is that these coaches know how to use him. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So that's an eight-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Northwestern is lining up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Mike 42, Mike 42. Yeah. And they make the stop at the 22. to throw outside. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. down at about the 45. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. That'll bring up third and six. From their own 45-yard line, 
Third down. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down around the 45-yard line. Well, that's a big-time stop by the defense. You know, Brad, one of the things that all defensive coordinators always try to emphasize is their ability to stop offenses on third down. That is a big stop, and I think it could have a lot to do with the outcome of this football game. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. The Wildcats really got the job done on that first drive, and they took the crowd out of this thing. They sure did, and I was really impressed with the execution by the quarterback. It's tough to be able to communicate with your linemen, and not to mention your wide receivers, but he did a very nice job of showing great poise, keeping his composure, and, and leading them to some points. We'll see what he can do here this next time out. And he's taken down at the 40. That makes it second and two. Northwestern is up a score. Nice run there. On the carry. Call it a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it second and six. Knocked out of bounds at the 48. That's a game of one on the play. Third down. Tackle made at about the 41. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. He's hit and taken down. Joseph on the tackle at the 32-yard line. That brings it's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He fights forward to about the 30. That's a game of two on the play. First down. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Bowser picks up two yards with a carry. And he's tackled at the 20-yard line. Northwestern is up seven. Might have been some early movement up front. Full start offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. From the 25-yard line, third down. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down right around the 18-yard line. I think he just barely got it. That's a great job by both the quarterback and receiver to keep this drive alive. He's tackled right around the 10-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. The defense scoops it up. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. to the tight end. Nice play. Knocked loose. Richard is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. Second down. Ten to go. Ball on their own 27. Four down. Four down. Mike's 42. Mike's 42. Flags are all over the place and they'll blow it dead. False start. Offense. 
That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound down. to happen occasionally. Check. Tight right. Tight right. Tight right. Pull it out there. Check the outs out there. Pull it down. Pull it down. Mike 42. Mike 42. Gains his way to the 36 yard line. He's at midfield. And they finally make the stop at the 37. Throws it deep. He's in. Touchdown, Tigers. This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20, makes it to the 22-yard line. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. First down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That's a loss of six yards. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on their own 34. Throws complete. Big loss. Waiting for the snap. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. For the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Incomplete pass. Number 13 was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. Taken down in the backfield. One yard loss for the halfback. One yard on the play. That makes it third and 11. Watch QB drop. Watch QB drop. Mike 42. Mike 42. Passes left. Going the other way. And down he goes. Right around the 34. Boy, this defense makes it look so easy. Clearly, there was a breakdown in the blocking scheme, and when that happens, it's so much tougher to make a good throw. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. He fights forward to about the 33. Love 
level at the 30-yard line. Tackle at the 22-yard line. Number 57 on the tackle at the 22-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Throws and it's incomplete. Green, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 22 yard line. What a play, and that is first and goal. That's a gain of 13. On the play. That makes it first and goal. Well, this defense can use that last possession as their rallying cry when they forced a fumble the last time the offense was down here in the red zone. And he hits him hard at the one. Gain of eight on the play. That brings up second and goal. Touchdown, Wildcats! I think the option down by the goal line is a great call. It puts so much pressure on the defense and it allows the quarterback to have the decision to run it or pitch it. And this time it worked to perfection. And he hits the PAT. So a seven play, 33 yard drive and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 14-7. Northwestern is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one from his own goal line. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Now here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He's just got to stick to the game plan. He fights forward to about the 26. So at the end of one, Northwestern leads 14-7. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Gets to about the 27-yard line. out to his wideout, and they make the stop around the 36-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 46-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. Right, right, right. That'll make it second and seven. He fights forward to about the 49. Gain of two on the play. Third down. Why in the world would the offense run a route short of the first down? That just baffles me every time I see that. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Northwestern up seven points. Inside give. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it 
makes it second and eight. Quick throw, almost intercepted. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. From their own 22-yard line, third down. And he throws it away. He looked a little sluggish on that series. I'm curious to see if they pick things up when they get the ball back. Rodgers is the deep man awaiting the return. They'll bring him down at the 39-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Makes it out to about the 39. Strike to his receiver, no good. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a game of four yards. That'll bring up third and six. Grabs it and he might go the distance. He's at the 20. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. In his face, the second he faked the handoff. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't that find a receiver, a get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. From the 21-yard line, second down. Makes it out to about the 13. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. He's out of bounds around the six-yard line. It's fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Kicks up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Northwestern is up four. On the draw, tackled in the backfield. No game. That makes it second and ten. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Third down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 19. The Tigers lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. And he's taken down at about the 27-yard line. 
personal foul. Basement. Defense. Complete breakdown in judgment and discipline. These are the types of mental errors that drive coaches crazy. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Tackle made at about the 45. Bowser gets three yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Three down, three down. And he is drilled at the 43. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That is a textbook tackle right there. He leveled his shoulders and just put his whole body weight behind that one. Great hit. Third down again. He passes it. This one is batted away. Jefferson's the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Collins awaits the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. Clipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 17. Flushed down, and he's going to get sacked. The defense might be licking their chops right now, Herbie. We've got a change at the quarterback position. We know the kid is talented, but you got to know the defense is going to come after him. Decent pickup. Call it a gain of seven yards. Third down. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. Loss of four on the play. Fourth down. the 46. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Northwestern holds a four-point lead. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and two. He gets rid of this one. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's at the 20, to the 10, and he's all the way in for the touchdown. Gives him another touchdown to go along with the one he scored earlier. You know, this quarterback continues to score touchdowns, and you can see how happy this makes his offensive lineman. A running quarterback and a quarterback scoring touchdowns with his legs takes a lot of pressure off the big boys up front. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A short three-play, 46-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 21-10. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Great 
Quick throw out to the receiver. And he shoved out of bounds around the 34-yard line. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. going to try and scramble. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. It's first and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. And down he goes at the 36. And the Tigers are going to call their second timeout. Scrambled, and he's gonna be sacked. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Gets it. He's in space, and he's tackled right around the 34. With room to work. Tackle around the 30 yard line. That makes it second and six. Fires it out. Good tackle there in space. Slings it. And they make the stop around the 10 yard line. Clemson will take their last time out. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 21 13, Wildcats. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like it is going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. But you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great, it's close, it's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herb Street and Brad Nestler. Does it get any better? That's it for us here in the studio. What are you gonna do in the second half when the game's going on? Yeah, I'm gonna kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Brought down at the 31. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Throws him in a hurry, and he tackles him hard at the 33. Strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 37. That's a game of four on the play. Third down. Check 26, check 26. 
Now he's scrambling. He's got the corner. Loose football. They fall on it. And that fumble is going to cost them. At this stage in the game, the number one rule has to be to hold on to the football. They're ready to begin another drive. Northwestern holds an eight-point advantage. Nice run there as they work the outside. Game of five on the play. That brings up second and five. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. And he just gets rid of it. That's going to bring up fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. Tackle made at the 21. The last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. They bring the quarterback down. That'll bring up second and 15. from their own 17-yard line. It's second down. Nice run there. He's brought down in the open field. Some movement on the line. False start offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way Still to stall down. out a drive. So the penalty makes it first and 15. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Check 13. Go. Check 13. Go. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. He's pushed out of bounds at the 34 yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. Rogers, the intended receiver on the play. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He tries to buy some time. Slides down. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. Well covered by the kicking team. He didn't go anywhere. What I like about this play is that the guys stayed in their lanes and didn't allow the big play. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Northwestern is up by eight. They'll bring him down right around the 26-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. They'll knock him down for a loss. Personal foul. Face mask. D 
defense. They're giving away oh, three First yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. First and ten, ball on the 36-yard line. He fights forward to about the 39. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That'll make it second and seven. They go with him again, and he'll be taken down behind the line. From their own 35-yard line, third down. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. And he's level at the 43-yard line. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Got the corner. He fields it at the 17. He showed a good burst there. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. It's a great tackle at the 49-yard line. Gets out to around the 38. They get nice yardage on that run. The option to the tailback good for about four yards. That makes it second and six. They'll drop in for a loss. Call it a loss of four yards. On the that brings up third and ten. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Man can't tack on any yardage. The Tigers had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. The kick is up, and he got it. Great snap and a perfect hold, and he just had an awesome follow through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. 21 16, Northwestern. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Wildcats fans have got to be going crazy. It looked like they had this one in hand or could put it out of reach, and they haven't been able to do it. This is a tough game for the fans to watch because their team was so dominant early in the game, and now they've just gone cold, and they've allowed the opponents to get right back into this game. They better find something here to be able to try to get out of here with a win. And he's taken down around the 20-yard line. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 20. Tackle made at the 35 yard line. Call it a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gain of seven on the play. First down. Check, check, check. 
They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. From their own 49-yard line, second down. The ball pops free. It's picked up. Anytime a running back loses the football, it puts a little bit more caution in his step. You'll see them covering the ball with two hands, and it sometimes can slow him down. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He flings it. Incomplete pass. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it, let's move on to the next play. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Give it off here. He's tackled around the 19-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. Right, 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 right. Four down, four down. Check nine, check nine. Mike, 42. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start. Offense. That penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. the corner and they push him out at the 13 yard line that's a gain of 11 on the play that'll bring up third and four and he hits him hard at the five You don't really gain anything by kicking the extra point here, so they'll go for two and try to go up by three. Clemson with a one-point lead. And they won't get the two. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line. And down he goes at the 23. Clemson's got a little Jekyll and Hyde thing going on here on their defense. Well, they were on their heels the entire first half. You look around now, they're flying around, making a lot of plays, and really giving themselves a chance to maybe win this game. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive. So let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 22. And 
he's tackled at the 30-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Tigers lead it by one. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Well, they've got the lead and they come up with a big stop and it looks like they're gonna get the football back. Collins is the punter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Gets to about the 37-yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. Clemson, up a point. Man, oh, what a hit. He's taken down to the 37 yard line. Loss of five on the play. Third down. It's third and ten. Ball on the 37. Larry, Larry. It up. Mike 42, Mike 42. <laughs> Throws it deep. This one will fall incomplete. Ruiz breaks it up. That'll make it fourth and ten. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Takes a handoff inside and stopped immediately. No game on the play. That makes it second and ten. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of five on the play. That'll make it 35. Strike to his receiver, no good. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. Fourth and five. Rodgers, the return man. Rodgers fields it at the 30. Tackle at the 36-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Clemson is up one. Mike 42, Mike 42. Zips it to the tight end. Goes right down at the 41. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Concentration lapse right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. It's first and ten. Ball on the 44 yard line. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. Scrambling around. He's at the 30. And they make the stop at the 24-yard line. There he goes. And down he goes at the 14. That's how we do. That's how we 
the 17 yard line loss of three yards on the play brings up second and 13. it's second and 13. ball on the 17 yard line the 10. he gets to about the five Clemson with a one-point lead. And he tackles him hard at the two-yard line. Brad, you just don't see this very often in North college football. That is their fifth first down on this drive alone. They have great rhythm right now as an offense. And look at that poor defense. They're looking over to the side. Touchdown, Tigers! There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 59-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 29-21. to 21. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Nice run up the middle. Team on the tackle. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. Roger, Roger. Kill, 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 kill. Makes it out to about the 49. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. Feeds it to the back. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Fires right side, got his tailback, and he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Wilkins with the tackle at the 40-yard line. First down. Tight right, tight right. Pull down, pull down. Hey, check Mike 57, Mike 57. Check four, check four. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Pressure got to him, and he put it on the ground. It's picked up by the offense. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's level at the 44-yard line. Lawrence brings him down at the 44-yard line. That'll make it 4th and 14. Less than three minutes in the game. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. That is 
some daylight. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. Gets out to about the 31. to about the 47 yard line. The defense burns a timeout here in an attempt to stall this no huddle attack. Second down and seven. Ball on the 47. He scrambles. That's a great tackle at the 49. The defense puts an end to the no huddle offense by calling timeout. right for a nice game so the defense has had enough of the no huddle as they call a timeout in a perfect world he knocks this kick down inside the 10 so this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback you know this is a real crucial time in the game it could still go either way a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Run left, and he's taken down in the backfield. That makes it second and ten. And he stops the clock with a spike. That brings up third and ten. To get back in this game here in the fourth, this third and goal is vital. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at the 22-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it fourth and eight. Quick throw. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. Check, check. Disco waiver. Disco waiver. First down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Call the game of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. Spikes the ball. That makes it third and seven. From their own 38-yard line, third down. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He airs it out. Doesn't get there. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. From their own 48-yard line, it's second down. Short pass, middle of the field, and he's tackled around the 50-yard line. Just over a minute left. Quick pass. He's at the 40. He's taken down at the 37. First down. The spike will stop the clock. That makes it second and ten. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Once and all, going deep. No, incomplete. James, the intended receiver on the play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Ball is loose. Picked up by the linebacker. And he 
and he is drilled at the 44. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee. From their own 42-yard line, second down. You're an offensive coordinator. You love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. And so that's going to do it. The Tigers come on on top, 29 to 21. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.